blessing it is yet again to be once again in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To be able to render due praise unto him. Man, a place where we come to gather and give corporate worship. Amen. But we, we, we ought to have been praising him before we got here. Amen. That's the good thing about serving God, that if you really understand what it's all about, by the time we get here, we ought to be all worked up. Amen. Amen. Ready to give God honor, praise, and glory. It is a blessing, amen, to be amongst believers. Amen. And it seems like that as, as these days go by, those ranks are getting smaller and smaller. Amen. It says it's getting harder and harder to find a good man. Amen. But, 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 but I have no doubt. B b because my God said it would be so. Yeah. Amen. We got, we got to work on standing out so we'll know who each other are. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Amen. When we go somewhere, we wear the same color T-shirt so we know who we are. Yeah. Amen. You go to a family reunion, the Johnson family got on blue because the, the, the Smith family got on green. You know who you are. Yeah. Amen. We ought to let folks know who we are. Right. Yeah. Amen. This is our family. Amen. Amen. We are children of the most high God. Amen. In other words, we ought to tell somebody about God's goodness. We, it is good to be here this morning uh, uh, just reflecting on the goodness of God. And, and sometimes when uh, during the busyness of life, we get caught up in the activity of life and, and in reality forget to really reflect on God's goodness. And, 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 and we say things out of routine. But in reality, it really is good to be here. Yeah, it, it truly is. Amen. So as we prepare to look to our Sunday school lesson this morning, uh, we will give you over into the hands of our music ministry, and then we will come back and look to our Sunday school lesson this morning. The, the lesson will come from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The printed text will come from verses 20 through 28. 1 Corinthians 15, 20 through 28. Amen. God bless you. Good morning. Because he lives, we live. So we're going to ask y'all to join us. Page 120. Because he lives. I know it's a very familiar song, but it's such a powerful song.
up this morning and was rambling around the house and realized it was it was up to me to make sure I had on both the same shoes and <laughs> my, my, wife, my wife left Friday to go to Alaska with some of her family so I if I, if I didn't get it right y'all I'd done the best I could <laughs> God. But God is good. <laughs> he really is. Amen. But he'll talk to you. Okay, don't forget to do this now. Amen. God, God truly is good. And if you stop and think about that, life is worth the living because he lives. Amen. Amen. Because without that promise, because life gets difficult sometimes. Amen. And if all I had to look forward to was this, man. Let's, let's bow for me. Father God in heaven, we thank you so much for all the blessings you have given unto us. We pray this morning, God, that your blessings will continue to fall fresh upon us this morning. Thank you, God, for our last night's lying down and our rising up this morning. Still breathing the breath of life. The blood of life still running warm in our veins. We thank you this morning, God, for we realized that there were some that had plans for today, but their time was over. And we thank you, God, that you allowed us one more opportunity, that anywhere that we've come up short, that you gave us another chance to get it right. So we pray this morning, God, that, that for the blessings and for the, the mercy and the care that you continue to show toward us. Bless those, Father, help those that are sick, those that are confused in their mind. We pray this morning, God, for... Our world, it seems like at every turn, evil is all around. Amen. But we have to be, be, be mindful that you are still God. Nothing is beyond your scope of power and authority. So we thank you this morning. Keep us in your care. Pray this morning, God, for the shepherd of this congregation. We lift him up to you, God. We pray that you would continue to bless him. Give him the things that he needs that he might continue to do. Uh, carry out the assignment that you have given him that he's been so faithful to. So then, Father, we pray right now that you would let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. In the most awesome name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 I, I, our lesson this morning is one that is reminding us about how our faith and our belief in what the word of God says if we believe that to be true, and that how sometimes we contradict what we say and what we do. But if, we, if we really believe uh, what God says, in, in the, the, the first few verses of this chapter of Corinthians, Paul is writing to this church at Corinth as he did because there was so much turmoil going on. They were being challenged on every side by everything that was trying to pull them and convince them that what God said, what Jesus has said, was not true. Uh, that there was some other way to do this. And, and if we think about it, we're faced with the same challenges today. Yeah. That there's so much in this world that tries to convince us right. that the word of God is not true. Yeah. That somehow the word of God has received an update. <laughs> Amen. God. According yeah. to our traditions and our customs and the things that we like and what we yeah. don't like. Yeah. Yeah. There are some that have modified what they call the scripture yeah. in order that it might fit our modern new world. Yeah. Uh, but this, mind, this, this letter reminds us that God is God and he shall not change. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If, 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 it, if it was wrong back in those days, it's still wrong today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So Paul is writing to them about this, this risen Christ and the faith of the resurrection. The belief whether or not there was controversy on whether or not uh, there there would be a resurrection and whether or not Christ was actually raised from the dead and he said moreover brethren in verse 1 he says I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you which also you received and in which you stand by which also you are saved if you hold fast that word which I preached to you unless you believed in vain Amen. It, you, you, he said, for I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. I'm not yeah. preaching to you what I think, what I believe. This is what I received from the Holy Spirit. 
This is what I, the word I've been given to preach to you, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. I'm, 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 I'm reminding you of what I preached to you, and what I preached to you was not of me. It was of Christ to remind us that, that what he said to us is true. Verse 12 says, now, if Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. If Christ is not risen, what has been preached for over 2,000 years is just empty. And all that you have claimed to believe is worth nothing. All of the labor, all of the, 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 the nights being on your, all the pray, all of that was worth nothing. If you don't believe that Christ was risen from the dead. Amen. It, it, it said that it is empty. For, uh, verse 17 said, and if Christ is not risen, your faith is fruitile. You are still in your sin. If Christ did not give up, there is no hope for us. If the fulfillment of what the scripture says did not occur, he said, then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ, they just perished. They're just gone. If you believe that all there is to live and to die, then, then it's not worth it. What, what are you struggling for? What is it that, that you're hoping for? He says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all men the most pitiful. We, 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 we are, if all we have, in other words, if you believe that it all ends with a slow ride in a hearse, if you believe that it's just, it's just done, that if you believe that they're all there is, then th this, this hope that you claim to have yeah. is just empty. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just talk, talked about life is worth the living because Christ lives. Yeah. He died and he rose, he said, but in, in our printed text, he says, but now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. He got up first Man. to demonstrate that there is a resurrection. Upon what you can, and not only did he rise again according to the scripture, so that the believers would not have to just rely and say, I just trust in what was written. The scripture says he's shown himself for some 40 days. So the apostles, when they went out to preach and to teach, they wouldn't have to just depend on, on their faith in what the text said. They could say, I know he got up because I saw him die and I saw him alive. Amen. I, 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 he, he once was dead, but I, I saw him alive with my own eyes. One can say I even touched him. Amen. So he says, but, but the, he was the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man also the resurrection of the dead. By the first man that death and sin entered into the world due to disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. By obedience. We are made fresh again Amen. by his obedience, by his, 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 his diligence to do what he came to do, yeah. to live and, 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 and to teach and to preach, but to ultimately die on that cross yeah. for, the, for the remission of our sins. And then to get up from the grave, the scripture said, with all power in his hand to, to ascend once again unto his father, to sit on his right side and to plead our case. He said, for as in Adam all die. Even so in Christ, all shall be made alive. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We, 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 the scripture said that unto all men is appointed wants to die. But Christ said, yeah. I go away. Right. So that where I am, there you may be. And in other words, you got to die on this side, but you'll get up. The hope is that we'll rise up on the other side. Yeah. Amen. In other words, I got to go away, but I'm coming back. Yeah. And if you're ready. Hey, I me, mean, y'all know how y'all went to go get somebody and they wasn't ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, 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 they know you're supposed to come. And then you got, I don't, I don't know about you, but, but, but I, ain't, I don't want to take a chance that he <laughs> Slow me down, God. Slow me down. 
Say, for since by man the death and that the resurrection, for as in Adam they all die, Christ shall be made, but each one in his own order. In other words, that, that I have my own appointment with death. And my appointment with death has nothing to do with yours. Amen. Amen. Each one has his own order. Christ, the first fruits, afterwards, those who are Christ at his coming. Yeah. Afterwards, he said, I did it first. I died. I, I, I paid the price for you. And, 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 and I'm glad that it seems like as I, as I get a little older, maybe I'm, I slow down enough to really listen and pay attention. But, but, but he, he, he paid it all. And, and he, well, he, he didn't just pay it up. <laughs> he paid it all. Y'all know sometimes somebody, you, you, you'll catch it up. <laughs> you pay it up, but, but, but next month you owe some more. He paid it all. Amen. He, he, he said by, by each his own, he said that he, by his coming, then comes the end. Afterward, those who die, then the ones that, that will get up. He got up first, but after he did it, he says, who are Christ at his, at his coming, those that are, that are dead will get up. That will be a resurrection. And then that we can have our hope and our desire and our joy. That's why. Those that, 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 that know Christ, can, can, when they know their, their time is coming, they're leaving this yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. They, they go with a smile because they know their hope is in the resurrection. Yeah, yeah. They know that, it, that it's not over. Yeah. That, that, that if, if all I had to look forward to was the turmoil and all of the stress and the strain that I have to go through down here. But, but I have a hope. I have a belief. I have a trust. My faith allows me to continue. When everything around me says you ought to just throw up your hands and give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My faith says that the one who holds the day is the one, same one who holds tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And if I just hold on a little bit longer, sometimes my mind has told me just give up, throw in the towel. Yeah. Amen. But, but my faith says get up. Yeah. Amen. And I found out that if, I, if I'm obedient to that word, that things just get better. Yeah. Don't make any difference how I feel when I wake up. If I get up, yeah. moving around, be about my father's business. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you, he'll, you'll forget all about the aches and the pains and the, yeah. and the hurt. And, 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 and you'll get all right. You have to be like Jacob sometimes. You just got to be all right with walking with a limp. Yeah. Sometimes life changes. Amen. But my hope is in the Lord. Yeah. My trust is knowing that he died, but he got up. Yeah. That, that our trust and our belief is in a risen Savior. Then come the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and all power. He will come back. And in the end, he will take his rightful place that he will put an end to all of this ruling, the principalities of the air. He will take control over all of that. We, we, our faith and our trust in him, and in the, Paul is reminding them that I know sometimes what you're looking at seems insurmountable. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it's just too much to bear. Yeah. If, and, and I found if you spend too much time right. staring at your problem, yeah. Yeah. Right. it has a way of getting bigger yeah. and bigger yeah. Yeah. and bigger. And that's why he said, don't look at them, look at me. Amen. Yeah. Look, look, look at me. I, 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 I picture in, in, in my eye, I, uh, it, it, when, 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 when David was standing there looking at Goliath, if he looked at Goliath from his perspective, yeah. that's, that's a big man. Yeah. 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 Too, too, too much for me yeah. to bear. Yeah. Hey, Amen. But, but the Lord said, don't worry about it. Stand on my shoulders. Right. Now tell me what you see. He don't look so big from up here, do he? And that's what we have to do with in our faith and our trust and our belief in a resurrected Savior. <clears throat> Realize that when, when my, see, sometimes I, I, I have to, God has to let me go to all of my powers used up until I turn to him. I just try to do it on my own. I, I got, but I'm learning more and more. You could have saved yourself a whole lot of trouble. So, so, so somebody wrote a song about it. They said, oh, what needless pain we bear. Yeah. All, right. All because we don't carry 
everything. He said, I'm, bring your burdens to me. Amen. But, but he got up and he is reminding them that, that, that regardless of what the world is trying to tell you, the word of God is true. What I preached to you was not of me. What I preached to you was of Christ, was, was given to me by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And it was done for our salvation. So, sometimes I, I think we do things so much now out of routine yeah. without really yeah. stopping to think about the, 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 root, the real meaning of what we do. Amen. The, the, the real purpose yeah. of what we do. And, and that is the thing that we have to continue to be mindful of, that the things we do in the name of the Lord need to be purposeful. Yeah. And the purpose ought to be, have something to do with the building, the ongoing of the kingdom. Because sometimes we have a tendency to do things that is for our own pleasure. That may or may not edify the Father. But it brings us joy, peace, and happiness. It, it gives us a place. That's, that's why there are some places you can go that ain't going to never tell you you're going to hell. You ain't going to never hear that. Because people don't want to hear that. But the truth of the matter is that it's a real place. Yes, it Amen. That, that it, that it, is a, it is a real place. And, and there's more to it than just being a good person. Amen. Because I, I, I got a man that, that I knew that was a good friend of mine. He was a good man, but he did not believe in Christ. <laughs> and, 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 and because of my faith and my belief in this word, he tells me that, that being a good person just ain't that works. Cannot save you. Right. Right. Amen. It, 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 it just won't. And so he, he says that in the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. He will reign until he put. In other words, all of these challenges, all of these things that come against us, Sometimes it looks like the enemy is winning. Yeah. But we need to be reminded that the battle is already won. Yeah. It's, it's, it's already done. It's already, we have the promise. Yeah. It, isn't it something that sometimes it seems like those of us who, are, who, who claim to be members of the household of faith that believe in Christ and we have the, 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 the God of all gods, the king of all kings, on our side, but we choose to follow something else. We, 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 somehow we're attracted to the Buddhist. We, we just, what, what they say just kind of fits, you know, they say how you, that, that, that limb just fits my foot better. Because I, I go there because I can do, give more freedom to do what I want to do. I believe in that because that don't tell me what I can't do. But, but I, 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 I've come to the realization and the understanding that the reason why sometimes my earthly parents were hard, because they knew that everything is not lawful. Everything that, 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 that makes you happy, you ought not do. That there are some stuff that, that might bring you joy and peace and you think and happiness in, in your flesh is, 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 is moving you farther and farther away from the promise of heaven. Amen. And, and so he, he said that, that he, the last enemy, he said that it will be un, the last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Yeah. The last enemy, the one that, 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 that's why Satan seeks to devour and claim us because in your death, he wants that to be the end yeah. as far as your everlasting. Yeah. Yeah. He, he trying to determine your eternity. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we have the promise. And sometimes I think we forget that, yeah. that we have the promise yeah. a, a, from a promise keeper. Yeah. 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 I, I've, been, I've been promised stuff some of it I'm still waiting on. I'm, I'm just telling you. So, and sometimes we mean well, but at the end, I just can't keep the promise. I thought I was going to be able to do that. Hmm. 
that 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 infamous Kenya loan me twenty dollars till Friday. I promise. <laughs> but we have the promise from one that has never broken a promise. A promise keeper. That that if 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 he says it, it will come to pass. And and he was so bold not to try to hide from us that there will in this life there will be trouble, there will be tribulations, we will go through things. And sometimes I think that we forget about the reliance on our faith. We're quick to say, boy, the devil is busy. I, I ran out of gas on the way to church. The devil, no, you just didn't put no gas in the car. Come on now. No, the devil ain't busy. You just lazy. Trust in me. Believe what I gave you that. And, and, it, and it, it doesn't make sense. In that context, to be sitting on the side of the road out of gas with money in your pocket. I provided for you. He has provided for us. And sometimes, I just don't want to get up. I want it, but I just don't want to go get it. And sometimes we're like that with things of God. It is there for us. He promised and he's laid it out. He's provided. He's made provision for us. And all you got to do is go get it. But we won't even do that. You know, somehow I think we want to do Christ like we sometimes we just want a little bell. We can ring and have somebody bring it. We have a part to play in this salvation. We have a part to play in this, in this thing that we have with Christ. But our belief and our trust ought to be in the resurrection of Christ. As Paul wrote to them, if you, if you don't believe that he got up, everything else is in vain. If, if, if you don't believe, you can't take, there's a tendency now, they will try to convince you with the text. Yeah. Yeah. But they will take the text out of context yeah. Yeah. and try to make it say what they want it to say. Yeah. Be mindful. Yeah. Amen, when they don't give you the whole context of things. We, we have to be, we, we have to be, uh, on our job, we have to be mindful that when they come, because I, I, I was listening to a song this morning, and I, and I listen to it all the time. But one of them, he said that I thank God because he took my wrong and he made it right. And I thought, where do the words say that? That, 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 ain't, that ain't what it says. Take your wrong and make no. But he, the scripture says unto him who, who is able to present me faultless. Because if I go by myself, he's going to see my wrongs. If I go unto him who is able to prevent, present me, he, he will cast it into the sea. But nowhere does the scripture say that he takes wrong, makes it right. So what, what I'm saying, I don't know. My wife says sometimes you overthink things, but I'm, I'm sorry, but that... I heard that this morning. I went, you know what? <laughs> Some things just don't make any sense. And you stop and think about it in the reality. Sometimes we just go along. If you put it to a good beat, we'll sing anything. But in this, he says, then comes the end and when he delivers the kingdom of God the Father, when he puts an end to the rule and authority of power, for he must reign till he's put all enemies of the, the last enemy that will be destroyed is death, for he has put all things under his feet. All things are subject to the power and the authority of God. I do not believe that God often, that God sometimes causes things to happen, but he does allow some things. There is nothing that occurs that is outside of the power and the authority of God, but sometimes life just happens. So, sometimes life just, just happens. And that's where our faith and our trust is to believe that when life happens, i got to know who's in control. I've got to have faith enough to believe that I, 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 this is just one of my days that things are just not going right. But I still believe that God is in heaven. I believe that Christ got up from the grave. I believe that he declared that all power was in his hand. I believe that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father pleading my case. 
So if I got to deal with this little thing today, that's all right. Amen. Because I've lived long enough to realize that tomorrow is a brand new day. I've come to realize that right now, my thing says it's 1047. I ain't messed up 1048 yet. <laughs> so so I, 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 I got time. And as long as he breathes breath in my body, allows me to live, that's why. We ought to, scripture says man ought to always pray. We ought to always be prayerful and thankful to God because one minute I was sitting upright. The next minute I was on the floor. One minute I felt fine. The next minute I felt the life leaving out of me. So what, what, what he's telling them and reminding them is that believe what you've already been taught. Yeah. You know enough already. Yeah. And, and we have to be on guard to be reminded to not have our mind changed. Yeah. As the scripture declares by every wind of doctrine. Yeah. And there's a lot of that blowing around yeah. these days. And let me tell you, because they say it loud and with fervor does not make it true. I don't care how the choir is singing, how the band is playing. I don't care how, how good of orator they are. If it ain't his word, there is no power. There is no salvation. There is no authority in that word. But the scripture reminds us that. That's why he's telling us, I've already given you the blue. I've already told you that in the last days that there will be Men become believers of themselves. They, they, you'll believe anything if it sounds good. And so we, we have to be reminded that the last enemy we've started, we put all things under. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who put all things under him is expected. In other words, we ought to, when we pray, we ought to pray with expectation. Yeah. When, when, I, when, 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 when I pray and I talk, to the Lord and whether I ask for things, it ought not matter to me that the prayer that I prayed last week, last month, last year has not yet been fulfilled. The fact of the matter is I can still pray to him again today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen? With an expectation that whatever I need right now, that in due time he will still provide. And, and because I ordered something last year, and it ain't came yet. That just simply means it's just not time. Because sometimes we ask for things that we ain't ready. We're not ready. We, I think I am. But my faith and my trust and my hope, as I go through life and things happen, I realize that this has been a long time coming. And I really wasn't prepared for it until now. I waited and I waited and I waited but if we, if we have faith, if we believe that every word of God is true, then we can, we can have faith and strength enough to hold on. I don't know about you, but I found myself in situations when I, when I wondered to myself, th th those words of that song, I'd look back and wonder how I got over. Yeah. I, I know who Christ, I know where my help comes from, but when I, when I look at that, that means that I look at myself and I wonder how did you yeah, yeah. make it through? How, how did you survive that? And then quickly, as Paul often does, Paul would ask a question, he would put forward something, and then he'll come right back and answer the question. It is because <laughs> of the Christ, the God in your life. I, I, they tell me that as they were wheeling me out to the ambulance, I was praying and calling. I don't remember none of that. But that's what they tell me. Amen. But, but when, 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 when they tell me that, that helps me. To, see, if, if it's in you, it'll come out. All right. yeah. Yeah. That, that, that gave me some, 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 some resolute conviction that, that I, you know, sometimes you got to get real dead. You ain't been putting on. That thing got to be real. And what Paul is reminding them of, that aside from all of these messages that you're getting, Aside from all these things that are being preached, that are being taught, stay steadfast to your foundation. Yeah, yeah. You got to hold on. You got to have. And sometimes 
I saw, I see over and over again more than that people saying, prove to me. Prove to me that there was even a Christ. That there was no J in F, so how could there be somebody named Jesus? And if you're foolish enough to fall for that, you'll find yourself questioning whether or not this word is true. See, that's where the faith come in. And if you have faith, faith does not require proof. Faith is believing. I believe what he said. And and, and the reason why I believe, because he's shown me evidence. I'm a living witness. You talking about should have been dead and gone, but Lord, you let me live on? Look that up. You see my picture. That's me. <laughs> That's why my faith is what, because I've been there. I've had some experiences with him. And, and so, and you have too. And that those things, I found that some things in life have come, even though they were difficult, they came to make me better. If I had not gone through that, my faith would not be in the place that it is today. My, my trust in me. So the belief in the resurrection, but when he says all things are put on his feet, it is evident he will put all things under him. Now when all things are made subject to him, then the son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him that God may be all. In the end, God will be all and all. Everything. Father, the son, the Holy Spirit made one. God, God, I faith and I trust and I hope and believe that the plan that God laid out before us is true. And not to deviate from that. It, it, it is so easy. It is so tempting sometimes because it would be much easier to stay on what it looks to be the paved road. But sometimes life takes you down a rocky road. Sometimes life takes you down some curves and some ups and some down. And you got, when you can't see where you're going, you got to have faith enough to believe that if he said turn on this road, what I have for you is on this road. Sometimes we say we're tempted, we want to take the shortcut. But I found out the shortcut don't end up in the same spot. Paul is saying believe in this resurrection. Don't get caught up in the noise and all of the, I don't know, sometimes we, we believe that the louder somebody says something, somehow that makes it true. He says believe in the word. Believe what I have. He said at the beginning in the first few verses, he talked about what I have preached to you is not of me, it is of Christ. Believe that. You can trust that. You can have faith in that. Because we're talking about a, a Christ, a God that never changes. His word will always be the same. Amen. Our faith and our trust and belief in God has to be in his word, even though the world tells us that that in the, in the natural might not make sense. Oh, but I'm, I'm glad I serve a God that sometimes don't make sense. Amen. Because if, if it was all given to my understanding, that there are some things that I just wouldn't have done if I'd have known the outcome. If I'd have known what I was going to have to go through in order to get there, Our God is a good God. He's merciful. Amen. All praises unto him. God in heaven, we thank you once again for allowing us to come together into this house of worship. We thank for God for those that are present in this place, for those that are listening via the live stream. We thank you, God, for the grace and the mercy, not only that you have shown us thus far, but because of our faith, we we look forward to what today will bring. We pray, God, that you would continue to walk with us Continue to be our strength, our hope, and our care. Continue to bless us in ways that we cannot even imagine, in ways that we would not even think to ask for, recognizing that you are so much God, so much above what we could ever come to understand. We thank you, God, for your blessings. These things we ask in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God.